All right, so we have a LiPo that is actually a LiPo that I've had for like a ground station battery or just powering random stuff um, for quite a while now just because I it, it, it was a battery I accidentally killed when it was brand new. I basically let it just kill itself. I left it plugged into something and it completely died. I think it was like in a quad that got stuck in a tree overnight or something. Um, so once it was all the way drained and I, I saved it, um, it's just been powering my goggles or my my ground station and different things. Uh, well, the other day I left it in a uh, ground station basically plugged in and I killed it again. And what you can see here is it's reading the cells at all zeros. So I did a, a, you know, a battery meter reading. It's reading the balance port, um, all zeros. So I'm gonna show you how to save the battery, right? And when I say save it, I mean, first of all, let me start and say this and let me look at the camera when I do. Do not do this and then put this battery in anything like a quad and don't do this without closely supervising it and don't do this without knowing that it's risky. This is not what you should be doing, but it is possible to save a LiPo battery that's been fully discharged if it's not damaged and there's nothing wrong with it just for the reason to use it as, again, something like your goggle battery, something that's low amp draw, like a ground station. Do not put this in a quad. It will immediately go flat, probably halfway up the punch out, okay? Just wanna make sure that's clear. Do not do this without assuming your own risks. This is dangerous. Do not try this at home. I'm just showing you what you can do if you wanna be risky. Disclaimer done. All right, so this is what we do. It's, it was plugged into balance, but I'm going to unplug the balance port. So it is now still plugged in, but the balance is not. So I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to come back out. I'm going to go to NICAD. And then I'm going to go to, for me, oh yeah, okay, it's at charge already. I wasn't paying attention, sorry. Charge and I'm gonna put two amps and I'm gonna start it and we'll see what happens. All right, so 7.4 it's saying it's at right now. That's basically, it's not right. All right, it died. Okay, that's good because I was counting in my head and what you wanna do is, you don't want this to really run more than about 10 seconds at a time. So we'll do it again. 9.29. I stopped it because it was 10 seconds. I'm gonna actually now jump into the, li the, the LiPo meter real quick, the LiPo battery tab. I'm gonna see if it's gonna let me start charging it because basically I'm trying to boost it to the right voltage to allow my charger to safely charge it. Okay, so it has a connection break and that's because I forgot to put the balance port in. So there we go. All right, let's try that again. Connection break. So it still doesn't think it's the right size battery. So we're gonna back back out. We're gonna go to NICAD. We're gonna pull the balance port. All right. And we're gonna try this again. 9.92, we're getting there. We're, we have to get it into about 10 and a half volts, 11 volts before it typically on my charger will read. Don't watch this. It's not gonna go up until you stop and restart. And the reason why is, stop it, all right? The reason why is NICAD batteries do not charge with a constant balance. So it's not constantly reading. It does one check, see? 11, 17, it did one check. So at 10 seconds, I'm gonna stop and we should be to a point now where, oops, we could check the battery meter and we'll plug in the port. And now we're getting a reading of 2.8 per cell. My battery meter or my battery charger will charge a battery at LiPo balance. Drop this down to 1.5. It should charge at that rate. Yep, and there it goes. Now it's recognized it, it's above 11 volts. It sees the cells and now we're charging. And now I'm gonna charge this battery and I'm gonna be very, very careful in doing so. I'm gonna keep it where I can see it and all those things and make sure it's not hot or anything. But again, this battery was actually a brand new battery 
that was killed. And so I'm not too worried. You can see how square that pack is. There's no puffiness, there's no heat. Charge at your own risk. Save your own lipos at your own risk. Do not do this at home. Fly safe, fly smart, just fly.